Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. We're doing another custom style today, and we're going to do a simple style for macro images, specifically flower pictures. So we're gonna create a style that we can immediately apply when we are editing images of flowers. I, I know it's February as I'm recording this, but I am avidly looking forward to springtime. And here we go. So I've got an image of a flower, it is completely reset. And what do we know? about some macro flower pictures. Well, we know that we want color saturation. We know that green is probably going to be the background, but what I do not know is the color temperature that I'm necessarily going to be shooting in. And so we will not be building color temperature as part of this edit. The first thing that we're going to do is come over here and I don't want to push exposure in case I have highlights inside of the frame, particularly with white parts of flowers or perhaps white in the background. Instead, I'm going to push brightness and just get a nice bright uh, image. Second thing that I am going to do is push general saturation. And I know I'm just gonna be pushing all saturation on this image, so I feel confident using the saturation slider. I know in previous videos I have talked about doing saturation with only specific color channels, but when we're pushing flower pictures, I think that we can get away with this pretty effectively. Next thing, as per usual, we're going to take black point down. We're going to push our shadows up a little bit in order to get a little bit of punch. But here's where we really come into play. I want to take a look at curves open this up and we could use a standard two point S curve, but I probably want to adjust this a little bit. And with this type of an image, uh, I want my highlights pushed a little bit brighter than I make my shadows darker. Now I could bring my shadow point, I think down a little bit there, but in an instance like this, I like bright poppy images when it comes to flowers and I don't want to push any really dark areas. So this asymmetrical S curve is perfect. If you really like that, of course, you could save that as its own preset. Uh, you'll notice I have a two point S curve that I have just uh, adjusted here and I'm not going to be resaving that, but I feel that that is pretty good. So we're gonna pop that back. Now, do we add clarity? And I'm gonna say no. The reason for this is that I don't want to add any sharpening to the background or to other areas. In a macro image, a clarity adjustment, adding some sharpening effects should happen, or some micro contrast um, uh, effects should happen only in localized areas. So I would do that as a brush. What I will do is take my dehaze and push that up a little bit, but here's gonna be the real trick. We're gonna come into our color temperature and uh, our color uh, tool tab. We're gonna grab the color editor, and I know that my background is likely to be green. So I'm gonna grab just the greens in the basic area, all right? And what I'm going to do is take their lightness and drag it down. And what that's going to do is push the rest of the flower forward. And this happens in many, many macro images where green is in the background. I'm gonna darken that background and push it forward. And this is going to immediately affect the quality of the work that we are doing. So that feels really good. If you wanted to come in here, you would also have the ability to adjust the color wheel. You've seen me do this before, but I wanna bring my yellows in and my greens here in. In other words, I wanna constrict the definition of green to only things I really think are going to be green leaves on trees and green grass, and I will apply that. And that will immediately adjust the way that my uh, lightness for green kind of manifests. So I think something in that neighborhood feels pretty good. At that point, I have a nice, simple, generic style. I have not done a white balance adjustment here, which is very important because we have to do that separately. As always, we're gonna come up to our styles and we're going to save a custom style. If you have adjusted white balance, of course, you would remove it from consideration inside of the style and I'm going to hit save and this is color flower and then we're gonna save that, and we can apply this very easily to other images. So let's come over to an unedited image. Here I've got one, it's reset, and I'm just gonna to come to my styles, custom styles, and I'm gonna to come to color flower right there. This one does need a white balance adjustment, which could not be built into the style. I think that's looking pretty good. And as always, when you apply a style, you might want to just double check the way that the brightness adjustment works. And that is our before and after of applying 
only the style plus a white balance adjustment to an unedited photo. If you want this exact style, you can come and download it from my website, thefstopshere.org, and in that same location, you will find a number of styles. Some of them are free, some of them are at a very small and reasonable cost to be able to make your workflow and capture one faster and easier. As always, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.